everybody this is going to be a video on an overhaul of a TD5 Discovery clutch mechanism and what I mean by that is simply master and slave cylinders they help if you've got a problem with bleeding it's still a very very soft pedal and the chances are the, there's something wrong in the, the clutch plates etc itself which I know it isn't or is our air still getting into the system so what I've decided to do is replace both the master and slave cylinders which I'm going to be unpacking now so this is a new master cylinder as you can tell it's very very different to the slave that's your master like so slight upgrade if you'll notice a difference from the standard ones the standard ones on the oil feed seems to have some sort of clamp over a plastic plate or sheath but these which I think is probably a better idea it's just a, it's just a push fit obviously you still use a little clamp afterwards but that's obviously a better way of doing it so that's the master I'm just going to go on to there because it has leaked in the past I've seen that leaking uh, I've messed about with it a little bit and it stopped but it isn't good enough it wants to be 100% reliable so a new one going on and now to open the slave cylinder That's the part that bolts on to the bell housing. Uh, connects via a rod, which I shall also get because I have a new one. do when you press your pedal which is just connected to press your pedal forces oil which is from the reservoir through your pipe down into your slave which then simply just pushes your rod out onto your clutch arm and then activates the clutch simple as that but there is Plenty that can go wrong, obviously, between there, there, and everything else. So, an overhaul is um, sometimes advised if there's any issue anywhere with it all. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the slave. And advised is because on the TD5, the feed for the clutch and the brake system this ABS is a bit more complicated is from the same tank so I'm going to clamp off the pipe feed for the clutch which is very simple all you do is get yourself a little clamp keep from nowhere anywhere that's it and that will not now run any further than there so this obviously will empty into a little tub that will get ready and fit, allow us to then start on the change of slave cylinder right now under the vehicle this obviously is the bell housing 
at the back of the engine before the gearbox clutch is in here and the part we need to get to is just there and 10 mil bolts top and bottom is one there one there and then 13 mil Ugh. yeah tight 13 mil spanner needed to get off the feed pipe the bleed nipple is just above but that's irrelevant that can stay shut and because the rod is actually connected here in about here with that with a couple of little plastic clips now if the rod's fine and the clips are fine i would suggest that maybe you leave it as it is because getting yourself getting anything in there to reconnect any, all the plastic bits and that is not an easy job so if it's all intact then i suggest it leave it alone we done from above pre-loosened obviously for the purpose of the fit right yeah Continue. It's a feed pipe off, and it's a case of now undoing the two bolts that hold the slave cylinder on. Now I have recently had this engine out, as I'm sure in the previous videos you have seen, and inside here was absolutely filthy cat. Sprung, and there we go. Out it comes. That's something to watch out for. So there's the slave cylinder, obviously, exactly the same as the other one. I'm going to keep that to one side because I've got a hunch that's actually okay. But for now, it's going to get a new one fitted while I'm doing the rest. There is your rod. There's your rod there. Connected directly to the arm. This one's pressions, it looks quite good. But oh, I'm gonna get a mirror. Good little tip is to get a mirror here. And you'll be able to see straight down into there and just make sure everything's in good nick. If that's in good nick and not gonna come out or go anywhere. Then that's going to stay as it is. So let's have a look at that first. Right, look, you can see just there. You can see that. And what I did notice is that there was nothing in between the two plates of steel on the two steel surfaces which even though you think they're tight it can still let seep in water muck and all that sort of stuff that's why this inside of the bell housing was dirty once it was removed from the engine uh, so I'm going to give that a quick clean and put a small amount very small smear of bit of gasket sealant or something, silicon, just around the edge just to make that seal a little bit cleaner and reduce any risk of contamination. Right here, the refitting new piece, slight smearing of gasket sealant, put it on so the bleed nipple is close to the top It and all that's left to do is you slide the rod down that's it. and then you just get your bolts into position and you tighten up nice and And now it's just a case of 
replacing the pipe, which I don't know if we can do with one hand, I'll try. In case of tightening up the pipe now. That's it. Nice and tight. Ready for the master send now. So up top we go. Okay, okay, master cylinder now. Not as scary or hard as you may think. Basically, clamped off the feed from the reservoir. And it's this, this unit we need to remove. So I suggest that we, which I have done already, just loosen slightly. Maybe a turn most both bolts, size 10 mil. And the hardest part of all of it, probably, is then removing the rod from the back end of the clutch pedal. Basically a 13 mil onto there. And because very little came out the bottom, there should be very little to come off here as well. do will be to remove the clip for the pipe. Like so. And obviously the pipe needs drawing. Which should just pull out. It does. Stand that up out of the way somewhere. It will. Not that there should be anything to come out, but we'll see. Now it's just a case of undoing two 10 mil bolts. Hold it all in place. That's it. Withdraw it. Remove the bolts because they are. Needed. It's come out, that's the way it's come out. I don't think that is usable. I'll go in the spares, but you never know. So, renew it with this little beauty. So it's basically a reversal. So, I slot it in gently, trying to make it. They line up nicely. Like so. Clean. 
need to maybe bend it. Do not, uh, do not cross threads, whatever you can, whatever you do. Not cross threads. Snug fit on there. Pipe back out. See if that looks okay to use still. Looks like it. Push it nicely over there. Clip into place. Right, so now try and sort this clip out. Fiddly. Just give it a squeeze. Clump back on. Yep, let's clamp back on. Good. So now what I want to do is, because everything is tight, remove this. That's it, because I don't want to over crush the pipe, crush it for too long. Gives you more problems than you need. So, other than reconnecting the pedal down below, that looks like it might be about right. Reconnect the pedal. Which is the simply reversal of fitting, obviously. First thing first, get your, get your pin in. Okie dokie, success. And see the new pin. Or should I say the pin and the new arm, link arm. There, with its clip back on for the master cylinder onto the clip pedal. So, the only thing to do now is to bleed the clutch. It's easy to get somebody out of the house, but it can be randomly anybody because all I have to do is press the pedal. So, what they'll do is press the pedal. Obviously that's fluid running into there now. Press the pedal, it'll go straight down to the slave cylinder. And what you do at that point in time, you open the bleed valve, get them to hold the pedal down, then you close the bleed valve, then the pe pedal can be released. And then the pedal down, open the valve, or nipple if you like, close it again, and pedal released and you keep doing that until you get no bubbles in the fluid then you nip the nipple up and there's your clutch brand new solid ready to go so another video done in between the very very heavy showers we've had but we've had a good spell of weather so that doesn't matter really does it so i hope you enjoyed the weather i hope you enjoyed the videos uh, any comments thumbs up much appreciated uh, and i wish you all the very best in your endeavors all the best cheers thanks bye